Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Alistair Cool. I'm having another sleepless night, so I just said, hey, let's make a tutorial, because why not? I'm going to be showing you guys how to quickly set up a kit PvP server. So, first thing you need to do is you need to create a new folder. And let's just call it P kit PvP. Now, this is going to be for 1.8.9. I do already have the stuff I need installed. I will have some of the links down below, not all of them, because there's a lot. I'm going to mainly be using from these older folders here. So, boom, we have kit PvP. Don't like the caps on that, but oh well. Empty folder. Now, I have this stuff pre made in here to save time, but what you need is you're going to need a spigot.jar for whatever update of Minecraft you are doing it for. So, we're going to move that in there. And now we're going to need a run.bat. And I'll show you guys how to make one of those. Um, making a server is super easy. I kid you not. It is like the easiest thing. So, you're going to need to open up a notepad. And you're going to need to basically type this in. Now this right here is a number of uh, gigabytes of RAM your server is going to be using. See, mine just uses six. And this is going to be the name of whatever your spigot is going to be called. I just renamed mine down to spigot.jar instead of having the update in it. And put spigot.jar in here. This is all you need. Boom. You basically have a server. Except for, you need to go ahead and run it. So you gotta wait for it to load some libraries. As you can see in here, there will be f files to generate. So and say pause. You need to agree to the EULA in order to run the server. So you go ahead and hit your enter key and you go to EULA.txt and change setting to true, you are agreeing to the EULA. This is you you guys know the old EULA thing. Just go ahead and hit true, that means you agree not to do any of those not so fun shenanigans. So we're going to go ahead and save this and I'm going to run it again. Now honestly I just got to the point I just copy and paste the EULA file. Um, but some people might have gotten tricked out on that. So right now we are currently loading a spawn. We just created a spigot server. It's that easy to create a server. Now we Let's go ahead and log in. So we basically have a survival server. And I'll show you guys the IP you could use to connect if you're running this on your own computer. Now if you're pro-hosting, I'm sorry, I know absolutely nothing about pro-hosting. But when we have been doing this for like three minutes, we have a server. Do grass, hit tab, pick up seeds. But we don't have any plugins yet. We don't know what kind of plugins to use, any of that. We don't even have names or ranks or op. So we, let's go ahead and just op ourselves. And look, we can't even do that yet. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that real quick. So you need to shut off your server using slash, well, stop. You In game, it's slash stop. Just put stop in the console. And let's not do that. Reminimize Minecraft. Um, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need to go to your plugins folder. It's gonna say plugin metrics. Don't touch that. Now I already have these plugins installed. No, we're gonna ignore that. So I don't know what kind of kit PvP we're, server we're gonna need, but we're gonna get. Um, unfortunately, I have messed up several of my plugins already because it's just me being an idiot. So we're going to need permissions X. This is a very useful plugin. We're going to need vault.jar and world edit and world guard are both very useful plugins. I'm going to show you guys how to set those up. I'm not that good with world guard, which is one reason why my servers can be a bit cringy. Um, these two plugins are incredibly useful. Tim the Enchanter and Stick Namer. Those are great for setting up new items. And for our kits, actually, now first we're gonna need the Essentials X pack. This is for like color chat and uh, shorter command lines. That's that's always useful. And then we're gonna need great kits. You could technically make a kit PvP server with just these. You don't even need uh, these two technically, though they do make things a lot more fun. Um, 
the rest of these aren't even essential now we're gonna get colored signs colored tags combat tag because why not and a lot of people love for some reason crazy enchantments I have it installed on my server but I don't use it but we're gonna put this on anyway the rest of these you can just ignore because one like two thirds no, like a third of those don't work and need to be deleted so we're gonna go through here we don't need this anymore we're gonna do run dot bat again and this time I want to remember to show you guys and wait for the server to actually boot up see it's loading all of our plugins and you're gonna to need to put in this to join your own computer if you're running it on your computer and you're going to have to port forward and I'm not doing a port forwarding tutorial because I'm bad at that as well I did that once back in like 2012 and never did it again no 2011 and never did it again so I'm rusty on that entirely but boom you now have a server with plugins we have 14 installed so you could technically make a kit BABP or whatever server with just these it's really easy so now you have access to several stuff now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need, your, need to give yourself if you were the owner of the server full permissions so you can put in pex user your username add you need to put in star which is your 8 button with the shift key boom permission star added this now means we can edit player permissions in game it makes things a lot easier so if we want to give players the ability to use spawn we do now we're going to use default here because that's what everyone is actually no let's not give them that permission not give them that permission I don't know why I did that I was just but you're going to put in like essentials dot spawn. Now players can do slash spawn. See, there's there's no um, nothing too complicated on that. Oh, I have a weird texture pack on. Give me just a second. Sorry about that. Oh, there we go. So let's just say we need to make a kit. I want to show you guys how to use great kits as well while I'm doing this. Let's just say we want the basic players to start out with full iron armor, non enchanted, iron sword. I just managed to toss out like that. A stack of arrows, a couple gapples, some food. Boom, we basically have a kit, so let's do slash gk to see the commands. We do slash gk create the kit names. It's going to be default. Then we're going to do set env default. Now, if you are using a different kits plugin, well, that's your own fault. So now we do slash kit default. I don't know why I got two stacks of arrows. But boom, we have our stuff. Okay. Apologies about that. Uh, my server is still technically a public server. No, it, it's, it's semi public. So we might have another person join in a little bit. It honestly depends. I'm tr I started doing this at 4 in the morning so no one would join. I have to do it because I'm restless. So, but we now have a kit. Not only we can set up a spawn using, I don't know, let's just say world edit. Actually, I probably should have kept him on. So, boom, we now have a stone platform. Which is definitely not even. Oh, well, I'm not very good at that. And we're gonna set up a spawn block. Let's just let's just do what I typically do with these shenanigans. Some of this, not like that. That keyboard. I mean, we're just making the most ghetto spawn possible because that's, that's how we do it. 
and you go on this block, look in whatever direction you can spawn at, and you do slash set spawn. Boom. Now everyone spawns there by default, unless you have like a different spawn point for other players. Jeez, it is so weirdly shaped. Um, and now for my next trick, what you need to do is you need to select the entire region that you would like to safe zone. I might need to Google some commands real quick because I'm off setting safe zones. But you set the heights for your safe zone, and you do one second. Okay, so we're gonna need to find a region. So we already have the selections. I'm gonna do define spawn. Uh oh, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this is what I get for using an outdated version of World Guard. I get error messages. Now we're gonna do slash rg flag spawn pvp deny. Now, now players can no longer PvP and spawn. So boom, this is now a safe zone on this block. Now if you jump down here, you can fight. If you're up here, you can't. I wish I could show you that, that's why I want to keep the other guy. This is a very basic spawn, very basic. Now, I know this is completely offset and it's driving you guys crazy, it's driving me crazy. You guys don't to do kits. Uh, did I put on... No, I didn't. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of, like, I should say... Stick namer. I don't know. You just do slash set name, color, just say starter sword. Boom. And then with Tim the Enchanter, we can just do slash enchant. Just put sharpness 2 on it. Yeah? 8.5 attack. You can put whatever, all it to level 1000 enchants on stuff. You can do slash enchant all, which is no longer a starter sword. It is now. A, I don't know. God sword. Boom. Go out and hit something. Yes, yeah, so this way you don't want looting a thousand. That's the most mutton you'll ever see in your life from a single sheep. It's as if it's like a meat plant or something. So boom, there you guys have it. A very basic tutorial on how to set up a kit server. Oh, of course, you're gonna need to build your own map around. Or it should help with that. You saw what I did. I'm selecting. Another fun tool to play with. I prefer doing it. Gold nugget is slash BR sphere. Oh my god, my spelling today. Zero for air. And five. Now, everywhere we click, we have spheres of air. Now, let's just say we want to be made of stone. We can change the size. And we, you can go into the config and change the max size. The max size, by default, is 5. I have used up to 15. I wouldn't go past 15. Because 15 is huge. It is absolutely huge. Boom. There you have it. A very basic server tutorial. I mean, you're going to need to set up your IP and all. But if you want a server for you and your friends to screw around on, there you have it. You know how to do it now. Thank me, don't thank me, I don't care. Peace.